When we set out on our roadmap to freedom a few months ago, we were determined to make progress that was cautious but irreversible. And step by step, thanks to the enormous efforts of the British people and the spectacular vaccine rollout, we now have one of the most open economies and societies in Europe. And as we've always known, and as the February roadmap explicitly predicted, this opening up over the last three steps has inevitably been accompanied by more infection and more hospitalization. Because we must be clear that we cannot simply eliminate COVID. We must learn to live with it. And with every day that goes by, we're better protected by the vaccines and we're better able to live with the disease. Vaccination greatly reduces transmission and two doses provide a very high degree of protection against serious illness and death. But there are still millions of younger adults who have not been vaccinated. And sadly, a proportion of the elderly and vulnerable may still succumb even if they have had two jabs. And that's why we're so concerned by the Delta variant that is now spreading faster than the third wave that was predicted in the February roadmap. We're seeing cases growing by about 64% per week and in the worst affected areas, it's doubling every week. And the average number of people being admitted to hospital in England has increased by 50% week on week and by 61% in the Northwest, which may be the shape of things to come because we know the remorseless logic of exponential growth. And even if the link between infection and hospitalization has been weakened, it hasn't been severed. And even if the link between hospitalization and death has also been weakened, I'm afraid numbers in intensive care in ICU are also rising. And so we've obviously faced a very difficult choice. We can simply keep going with all of step four on June the 21st, even though there is a real possibility that the virus will outrun the vaccines and that thousands more deaths would ensue that could otherwise have been avoided. Or else, we can give the NHS a few more crucial weeks to get those remaining jabs into the arms of those who need them. And since today, I cannot say that we have met all our four tests for proceeding with step four on June the 21st. I think it is sensible to wait just a little longer. By Monday the 19th of July, we will aim to have double jabbed around two thirds of the adult population, including everyone over 50, all the vulnerable, all frontline health and care workers, and everyone over 40 who received their first dose by mid-May. And to do this, we will now accelerate the second jabs for those over 40, just as we did for the vulnerable groups, so they get the maximum protection as fast as possible. And we will bring forward our target to give every adult in this country a first dose by the 19th of July. That is including young people over the age of 18 with 23 and 24 year olds invited to book jabs from tomorrow. So we reduce the risk of transmission among the groups that mix the most. And to give the NHS that extra time, we will hold off step four openings until July the 29th, except for weddings that can still go ahead with uh, more than 30 guests, provided, pro provided social distancing remains in place. And the same will apply to wakes. And we will continue to pilot events such as Euro 2020 and some theatrical performances. We will monitor the position every day. And if after two weeks we've concluded that the risk has diminished, then we reserve the possibility of proceeding to step four and a full opening sooner. As things stand, and on the evidence uh, that I can see right now, I'm confident that we will not need more than four weeks, and we won't need to go beyond July the 19th. 
it's unmistakably clear the vaccines are working and the sheer scale of the vaccine rollout has made our position incomparably better than in previous waves. But now is the time to ease off the accelerator because by being cautious now, we have the chance in the next four weeks to save many thousands of lives by vaccinating millions more people. And once the adults of this company have been overwhelmingly vaccinated, which is what we can achieve in a short space of time, we will be in a far stronger position to keep hospitalizations down, to live with this disease, and to complete our cautious but irreversible roadmap to freedom.